All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at structures. And structures are basically just like a variable that you can stuff a bunch of other variables into. Um, and those ones that you're stuffing in don't have to be the same type or anything. You can just put a whole bunch of stuff together. So this can be good if you want to group together, you know, variables of different data types. Um, for example, uh, let's get started here with an example. So to write a structure, you have to use first use the reserved word that is struct. Okay, and then here it's asking us for a struct tag, some brackets, and some fields. Okay, so the struct tag is kind of like, um, you could say almost that now it would be like the equivalent of the word int or double or something. It's gonna be the thing that we're kind of calling um, in order to use um, the structure that we're making. So let's maybe call this, um, oh, I don't know, student info, <laughs> info, info, just like that. All right, so there we go. So now we're gonna open up some brackets and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stuff this full of the variables that we want. So let's start with maybe a string, because um, students have names. So let's say maybe a name like that. And then students also have grades. So let's say maybe double, um, and then we'll just give them the average. Okay, and then also they have letter grades attached to that or something. Um, so let's say maybe a character, we would say char, ooh, I don't know letter grade something like that okay cool and now what we do is we just close the brackets and when you're doing a structure like this a structure definition you have to put a semicolon after it sorry that's just the rule and there's no getting around that all right so now if we want to start filling out um, an information for a student let's say maybe we have um we want to define uh you know the de information for a student right so instead of saying double or int or something now we're going to say student info we don't say struct right we say student info just like this and you see it's just matched up like that and then we're gonna you know, we want to name this something maybe let's call this who knows student okay cool um and then we can go like that so now what we want to do is we want to fill out some information so we use that using dot notation and we're going to um, just start defining these little variables that are inside of our structure so we can say student, um, let's say student.name, let's give him a name, let's say Mike, uh, we should probably make that a string too, Mike, something like that, okay, and then also we'll have student, uh, what do we have, dot average is going to be equal to, oh, he's pretty good, let's give him a 95, and also the last one now we could have student dot um, letter grade, Letter grade and 95. I should sure hope that gets you at least an A. Okay, perfect. And so now what we can do is if we want to use this information, um, and should probably use equal signs there. <coughs> Excuse me. So now say one day we wanted to come back to this and use some of this information or just print it to the screen or something as you know we love doing here. We can see out something like student dot. Oh, I don't know. Let's see out his name. Okay, and then go and end that line. And that looks good. So when we go and run this, um, you're going to see what happens is, da, 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 here we go. Perfect. So we've seed out student.name and look, it's printing mic. Cool. Right on. So we can do that for anything. Basically, if we wanted to get a, you know, if we wanted this to be a little more useful, maybe, uh, if, say we had more than one student, right, we could maybe make the student one student one, student one, you know, we could define 10 students and make little profiles for all of them. Um, and now something else we could do as well is um, say we want to use a different structure. So we could have struct and let's maybe just do something else completely unrelated, like who knows, I don't know, um, address or something. Uh, oops, address. Okay. So now what we want to do is do exactly the same thing. And what do addresses have? Addresses have uh, a number. So they have probably integer, um, you know, street number, something like that. And they also have a street name, right? So that would be string and let's say street name. OK, perfect. And that's good enough for right now. We don't need postal codes or anything. Um, again, in you know, semicolon at the end. So basically all I'm trying to do is, now if we wanted to um, put some information into address, we could just go down here maybe, and uh, now we want to, um, 
we want to initialize, you know, or make some variables here. Sorry, my mind's not working right now. So if we wanted to do that, we would say uh, address and maybe call this, you know, your house or something, whatever. Okay, cool. So it exists now, and then we can fill out the information again. So this would be your house, you know, dot street num. I think you should probably get the point by now. We call that 12. And then we can just quickly fill the last part out. And then we would have, again, your house dot street name equals, ooh, I don't know, um, should probably make it a string, you know, something like first street or something, right? Something like that. And then here, all we could, you know, if we wanted to, you know, see out something from a different one, again, we have your, oops, house dot, oh, let's say, street name. Okay, perfect. Put in that missing semicolon, and then we should be good to go. So when we just run this, now it's saying first street. Cool. So anyways, that's you know, a little introduction. That's also kind of the reason why we're not, you know, using this word struct down here because there's going to be more than one struct possibly. So here, if we want to call something about the student, we use student info and then give that one a name. Or here we wanted to use the struct address and then we're giving that a name and then we're kind of using that name. So take a look at it and it should make sense pretty soon.